Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. We've been super, super busy with our iCast trade show, after trade show conferences, getting the new catalog together. Lots and lots of stuff going on, so you can check out that new catalog on tackletactics.com.au and also lots of those new product releases you'll find through our Facebook pages, Instagram, uh, also on the website. So lots and lots of new stuff happening. Uh, unfortunately, that's kept us off the water a little bit, so there hasn't been too many soft plastics 101s and how-tos being shot out on the water. However, we're hoping to get back into the filming out on the water soon, so hopefully in the next few weeks you'll see more and more of those soft plastics 101s and more on-water stuff happening. In the meantime though, I thought I would introduce you to one of my favourite soft plastics in the range. Uh, one of our most popular plastics, an extremely versatile plastic and one that catches a stack of different species. Uh, and that is the three inch minnows. The three inch minnows would have to be one of the most versatile soft plastics that you can get your hands on. And I've always got it in my kit, whether I'm up north chasing barramundi and mangrove jack, around my home waters of southeast Queensland where you catch mulloway, flathead, all sorts of species on that. Or even if I'm down south where there's you know, salmon, flathead, trevally, all sorts of other species, the three inch minnows is the perfect bait fish imitation for those medium to large estuary, freshwater, and even offshore species as well. So a very versatile plastic. While I'm talking three inch minnows, check these out. These are the new, uh, one of our new colors. So we've got two new colors from Z-Man in a three inch minnows and also a four inch diesel minnows. And I'm pretty pumped. Got a sneaky packet of these to go and test, so hopefully you see some fish on them soon. So we've got the right stuff, which is a darker color. It's like a cleary brown color with a, a gold fleck and a copper fleck through it. That's gonna be a really cool, dirty water, weed bed type color. And then we've got this color here, which is purple death. And it's like a purple color on top with a chartreuse translucent belly. And it's got a really, really cool purple fleck in there as well. So. The Purple Death and the right stuff have arrived for those of you that are being keen to try that one out. So just hit up your local. I'm sure you'll find your local Z-Man dealer will have that Purple Death or that right stuff on the way if they don't have it already. So three inch minnows, it's a dynamite bait fish pattern. Whether you're chasing yellow belly, you know, bass, Saratoga, even Murray Cod in the fresh, Whatever you're chasing in the estuaries, pretty much even the big brimmel will eat a three inch minnows, but definitely when you get to those mulloway, snapper, flathead, they love a three inch minnow. So for me fishing it, I love to fish it, rig it and fish it on a 3.0. So I fish it on a headlocks jig head in a 3.0. And depending on the species, I'll switch between a 3.0 headlocks HD and a, and a headlocks finesse, depending on the species. So the finesse is a fine wire gamakatsu hook it's ideal for me, I chase the flathead with that fine wire and, and any of those, the bass species where I'm fishing lighter drags, lighter lines, and I'm really all about hook penetration. I switch up to that HD hook in the minnows when I'm more chasing bigger mulloway, snapper, species that are more likely to destroy that jig head or where I might be fishing a heavier drag, like say a, a mangrove jack up north, I'll, I'll go up to that HD hook or a barramundi. So fine wire, headlocks, headlocks finesse and the fine wire, Headlocks HG, HD for that heavy wire. And I go a 3.0 hook in that three inch minnows. Some guys like a 2.0, I just like that 3.0. I like that bit more hook exposure. And so if you carry a variety of weights in your kit, say 1 8, 1 6, quarter, 3 8, half, you're covered for a lot of species. And even in the surf, three inch minnows is one of my favorite plastics in the surf for chasing Taylor in those natural lighter bait fish colors. And I throw it on a half ounce 3.0 so I can get that distance and so I can control it in the surf as well. So that's a couple of ways that I rig the three inch minnows. The other cool thing about the three inch minnows is because it's 10 times tough, super soft and flexible Aztec material, it doesn't take much to get that tail moving. That tail will often swim on the, on the drop, even when you're fishing light jig heads, swims on the drop, swims on any sort of retrieve. So you can slow roll it, slow wind it. You can burn it and kill it, burn it and kill it. You can hop it, and you can just shake it, shake it and roll it as well. So there's virtually no retrieve where that tail won't be working. So it's an extremely effective plastic and also being Z-Man, it's buoyant. So it sits with the tail up off the bottom. So looks like a, a feeding bait fish. Fish will often come and pick it up off the bottom as well. So, so probably 90% of my fishing, especially Southern and estuaries and stuff is on those standard jig heads. 
Uh, mixing it up a bit, if you like a painted head, a painted head to match your plastic or a painted head to match the bait fish that you're imitating, then those demons are perfect. And again, I fish those in a 3.0. Otherwise, check out the new 3.0 Big Eyes as well. So the Big Eyes has a big, big eye in that jig head. And some guys like to match the plastic to the jig head. Some like to match it to the bait fish and that, that, that there is in the area that the fish are. Otherwise, some like to put a, like a pink head on a dark plastic. So they're using the head as a bit of a strike trigger to, to attract fish and trigger strikes. So it makes the plastic pop when it's in the water. So the demons and the big eyes give you that colored head option if you're wanting to mix it up or if you've really, really got a tough bite and you wanna try something different. Uh, this is a favorite of mine when I'm fishing the fresh especially, but also good on the flatties and snapper and that sort of thing as well. That's a Revlox jig head. So it's an underspin style jig head. So again, a 3.0, it's in a heavy hook like the Headlocks HD, but with a blade underneath there. So that blade spins and creates flash and vibration uh, along with that plastic. So really good if you, you know, you find bass in deep water schooling or you're fishing an edge bite for bass, it gives you that reaction bite, but it, it just gives you that flash and vibration as you slow roll that plastic through the water or burn and kill it and that sort of thing. So it's, it's cool. That's a Revlox, add flash and vibration to your soft plastic. The other way I like to fish the three inch minnows is weedless and it's a really, really good weedless plastic because it's Z-Man, super soft and flexible it clears the hook really, really well when a fish bites. So it doesn't really mess with your hookup rate too much. Even on the flathead rolling across the weed with a weedless jig it, it is effective. So weedless options, there's a chin locks or a chin locks finesse, and that allows you to fish this plastic weightless. So you can actually swim this plastic across the surface if you're chasing species like, you know, Taylor in the estuaries or Trevally, or you want to swim it for bass in the creeks. You can swim it over weed and stumps and bits and pieces and you can fish it without any weight. Otherwise, you can go with the Chinlox SWS, which has a belly weight. That's a fantastic way to fish this plastic, especially shallow water structure and snags. A really, really good way to fish up north around the mangrove prop roots and that sort of thing for jacks and barra, where you just want that slow sink into the structure and then you, you bring that plastic out, boom, just gets annihilated. And then of course, there's the snake locks option. So the snake locks has that front head weight and we can snap that off. We can fish it with no weight. We can clip it on here to whatever weight we like from a 1 12 through to around a half ounce or so. So it allows us to weight that plastic to get it into the strike zone where we want to catch those fish and we can still fish it through that structure because it's rigged weedless. So it's a really, really effective way to fish the snags, fish the weed, fish all sorts of structure, get that plastic right in where the fish are. So weedless rigging, and when I weedless rig, I generally stick with a 3.0 on those plastics as well. A 3.0 fits the three inch minnows perfectly. When I was digging around getting a bit of stuff together to show you, I found a few in my kit that are still rigged from previous sessions. So I've got a couple of tackle trays where I just, I cut them off and I'll keep a few and, and you'll see I'll often have a, a, a darker silhouette color for dirty water. I've got my fluoro color and I've got some natural bait fish colors as well for when that water's really clear. This one here is looking a bit sick, this plastic, it's been around for a fair while. That's a chartreuse glow three inch minnows, which is dynamite on the flatties, and that's probably caught 40 plus flatted and it's still, still going pretty well. Just about due for retirement. No, it's, it's looking a little bit beaten, a little bit faded, but you know, 40 fish on that 10 times tough plastic. Three inch minnows, the other tip with it I would say, is sent up, I always sent up my plastics. So there you can see I've squeezed the life out of this sardine pilchard procure. There's an inshore salt water, which is another favorite and mullet is another favorite of mine, but there's more than a dozen flavors in the range to suit the species that you're targeting. I just put a little squirt of that on either side of the plastic, slide it down with my fingers, wipe, wipe my hand on my pants to my wife's dismay. You don't have to, you can use the little dispenser in here and just run that down each side a little bit without touching it. I like to smear it on there and, and get it right from the head to the tail. And then I'll, I'll put scent on every 30 or, car, 30 or so casts and, and that generally fires the fish up again. So there you go. Whether you are slow rolling, hopping, burning and killing, shaking, even dead sticking a plastic because it's buoyant, that Z-Man three inch minnows is definitely one that you should have in your kit. I don't think there's any more proof of how popular the three inch minnows is uh, other than the fact that there's 
50 something colors in the range. So you can check out the full range of colors at tackletactics.com.au. There is so many colors in the range because it is such a popular plastic. It's super, super effective from the, from the fresh to the estuary to the river and creek and offshore. And just a matter of waiting it to get that where you want it to be and rigging it up with the hook, whether you want a fine wire or a heavy wire hook, or whether you want to run that weedless. But a 3.0 in the TT Lewis range of jig heads is a pretty good starting point for that super effective plastic. So there you go, stay tuned. Hopefully next time we're chatting to you, we're out on the water and the rods are bent. All the best with the fishing. Cheers.